Hey there, YouTube. Part North Racing here. So this is the treadmill motor that's going to become the new spindle motor for my mill. And you can see the end of it. It has this left-hand threaded motor shaft. So in order to get the drive belt on there, I have to manufacture a pulley. So let's see how we do that. Okay, so here's our part. Pulley. Mount it in the chuck with a stock. Just put it in lathe view here. Three tool paths. The first one, a facing. We just come in and skim off the front. Second tool path is the roughing. To cut the steps. And the third tool path is the grooving. For whatever reason, it shows the tool is upside down. I don't know why, but the insert is symmetrical, so it doesn't actually change the tool path. So just ignore the fact that it looks like it crashes. And we peck in on the first groove because the machine's not super powerful. So we give it a chance to break chips. Like so. And then once it's cleared that initial slot, it can clean up the sides and then do the finish pass. Bob's your uncle. So here we are with the roughing pass done and the facing pass done. And while I was at it, I used the tailstock drill to drill out the center hole to the right size for the one half 13 tap that fits on the end of the motor shaft. No video here, just the finished result. Here's the grooving pass all queued up in mock and ready to go. So here's the grooving pass all done. No video captured because, to be honest with you, I didn't think it was going to work. So I didn't want to have the hassle of nurse baiting the camera at the same time as I was trying to see if this was going to work or not. Turned out that was a worry wasted. It worked just fine. In fact, you can see the nice little pile of tiny chips that the pecking cycle made and went right in with no problems. So, good to go. So sometimes I'm so smart, I outsmart myself. What I was doing here was making this pulley which is going to wind up being the drive pulley for the treadmill conversion on this very mill. With those pulleys cut, there was actually no place to get a hold of it on the lathe chuck. At least not very well. And when I have to hog off all this, I just didn't trust it to stay in the chuck. So what we're going to do is we're going to mill it off. Nice sketchy setup here. Doesn't have to be perfect, because what I'm going to do is get it close and then I'll chuck it up and just take light facing passes to true it up. So uh, let's give this a try. So we're about you know, two thirds of the way through. This big old cobalt rougher doesn't even notice it's there. That's an actually, that's a really nice cutter. Just figured I'd take a check and I'll be damned if that isn't actually flat. There's no steps in there. My tram is right. Nothing's moved. Take off some more. Well, that little bit of idiocy works surprisingly well. You feel across here, that's actually flat. Maybe a little bit of a ridge there, but like these parallels are still rigid, so it didn't move. It's crushed in here a little bit, but uh, I think that worked. Now I can put it in the lathe and just take a couple of very light skim cuts to fully true it up. Hmm. How about that? It's stupid and it works. It ain't stupid. Cycle start. Bird's nest didn't help. There we are. 
I'm all cleaned up. You see, we got a couple of little divots from the V-block. And on the other side, it's crushed in a little tiny bit. But that should be okay. Worst comes to worst, I can just sand that out by hand. So I guess that worked. I gotta try to bore that. This is the most boring part of the job. Click start. <laughs> One minute, 37 seconds later. Should be close to the last pass. So I can start. Now, the poor man's plug gauge. Here we go, that fits. So we got her. So here we are, back where we started. We have our completed pulley. And it's a left-hand thread. Screws right on. Good to go. And we can go ahead, get a drive belt, and you can see that that's going to fit on there perfectly. Good enough. Thanks for watching. Ding, ding, around one. Ding, ding, around one. Now the battle's begun. Ding, ding, around two.